Limits of indeterminate form. Evaluate limit of the function x cube minus 1 divided by x square minus 1 as x approaches 1. So as a first step, let's substitute 1 for x and see what do we get. So we get 1, 1 cube is 1, minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1, which is 0 over 0. So if we get 0 over 0, we know it is indeterminate form. 0 over 0 says that the function is not defined as x equals to 0. So x equals to 0 is not in our domain. Correct? But can it have limit at that point? Yes, it can. Since limit is not the value of function at that point, limit is the value which a function is approaching as we approach the limiting value, right? So it can still approach that value, right? And we do have an idea here that we do have a factor x minus 1. Because when x approaches 1, we get 0 in numerator. That means x minus 1 should be a factor of numerator. And x minus 1 should be a factor of denominator also, right? So we'll apply simplification techniques to factor that out. And factoring is the technique which we are going to apply here to solve or evaluate limit of this expression. So let's do it. So we have this expression as limit x approaches 1 x cube minus 1 over x square minus 1. Now, it could be written as limit x approaches 1. So we'll apply a cube minus b cube formula, right? So we get in the numerator a minus b, which is x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1. And in the denominator, difference of squares. Difference of squares will give us x minus 1 times x plus 1. So that is how we can factor this. And as expected, we do get a factor x minus 1 in both numerator and denominator, which can be cancelled. And therefore, thereby, we can simplify our expression. So this rational expression now gets simplified and can be written as x squared plus x plus 1 over x plus 1. Correct? Now here, we can substitute the value of 1 and find the limit. So we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 3 over 2. And therefore, limit of this function as x approaches 1 is 3 over 2. Well, I should have written x is not equal to 1, right? So since 1 gives you 0 over 0, correct? So we get our answer, that is limit as x approaches 1 for x cubed minus 1 over x squared minus 1 is equal to 3 over 2. Correct? So that is our answer. Thank you.